Be Revision video. Today we're going to be having a look at the features associated with the middle course of a river. So we're going to look at meanders and how oxbow lakes are formed. So first of all, a meander is simply a bend in the river and you can see in the photograph that it's just the curve, so that where the river curves that is called the meander. In the photograph below, um, we can see an oxbow lake and that is where the meander has become cut off from the main section of a river. How do we form an oxbow lake then? Well, first of all, we need to know that the beginning and the end of a meander is called the neck, and you can see that in the diagram here. The water moves faster, so we would also say that there is a greater velocity on the outside bend of the river. So this, you can see here with the red markings, that is the outside bend of the river, and that is where the water is fastest. It's also fastest on the outside curve of the meander necks. On the opposite side of the bend, so that's the inside bend, you can see there with the yellow dots, that is where the water is travelling slowest. So that is the shallower water and you often get depositions, that's bits of material that are deposited into the side of the river and it can often form a beach. Okay, so we're looking at the erosion of the river then, that is happening where the water is travelling the fastest. So at the top and also at the neck of the meander. And you can see that over time, the erosion is going to start to join the necks of the meander closer and closer together. Following a period of heavy rainfall or flooding, the water manages to get through the thin barrier between the two necks. This then causes the river to take the fastest course. So the water that is in the meander starts to slow down. This means that um, a lot of the a material that's in the river starts to deposit at the both of the necks of the meander. So you can see here the yellow dots. The deposition is building up which cuts off the meander from the rest of the river. Okay, eventually this is going to be cut off altogether and you can see that a lake is formed here and the river is below and it's completely separate. We call this where the river is broken off, we call this the oxbow lake. Okay, so this is a quick animation. You can see that the blue arrows are where the ri river is travelling the fastest. The meander necks start to join together and eventually break through. Because the water is faster, it travels in the straightest course, which means that the slower water in the meander of the in the neck of the meander deposits the material, eventually cutting it off from the rest of the river. This is your oxbow lake. Okay, so essay question. What I want you to do is to pause the video and try and explain how an oxbow lake is formed. This question is worth five marks, which means you need to make five points using some of the words in the word bank here. Okay, so pause the video now, give yourself five minutes to try and write five points about an oxbow lake. Okay, so how did you do? First of all, first mark, you need to have mentioned the speed of the water moving fastest on the outside bend, which causes the lateral erosion of the river. Okay, this causes the necks of the meander to become closer together, and over time this breaks through, creating a straight channel. The water always takes the fastest route. This means that the speed of the water in the bend slows down and sediment or material is deposited at the entrance and exit of the, bend, of the neck of the meander. This cuts off the bend and an oxbow lake is formed. So in this session you should have learned how to identify and describe some of the main features associated with the middle course of a river, so meanders and oxbow lakes, and you should now be able to explain how an oxbow lake is formed.